thank you so much for joining for today mock this is a devops uh, 68th mock interview so we already completed 67 mock interviews uh, you can check it out in our youtube playlist section there you can find devops interview question and answers and please like this video we are watching this uh, video from youtube so that we will get uh, motivation to continue this mock interviews so let me introduce myself then after i will give you all a chance okay so yeah thank you so much for having me today so i have total six plus years experience in the it industry with a strong foundation in linux administration as well as cloud computing and all devops tools i began my career as a linux administrator where i developed a solid understanding of system management and automation so about a year later i get a chance to work on this cloud environment where i worked on aws and azure on both the clouds then have a, a get a hands-on experience on various services in aws as well as in azure so aws and azure both are similar if we work on one cloud automatically we will get a hands-on experience same like if how we have uber and uh, ola similar similar like that the user interface will be changing the naming convention will be changes yeah from the past four years I have specialized in DevOps, focusing on tools and practices. So mainly like for continuous integration, we are using Git. For continuous integration and delivery, uh, we are using Jenkins. So recently we have implemented uh, a CD tool, which is Argo CD as well for the deployment purposes. Coming to continuation, we have Docker and orchestration with uh, Kubernetes. Additionally, I have experience in uh, infrastructure as a code using Terraform and configuration management with uh, Ansible. Coming to AWS services, I have expertise in EC2, S3, VPC, and IAM. Okay, and yeah, that's all about me. Thank you so much uh, for the opportunity. And uh, I'm very much excited uh, to bring uh, more experience, if I get an opportunity, into your team and contribute for the success of the project. Thank you so much. That's all uh, about me. And one more thing, as you know, we are starting a new batch in DevOps. That is in two weeks. So actually, I plan to start on December 2nd. So due to some reasons, it got shifted one, me one week. So we will start from 9th December. And I will update the class calendar as well. And coming to tools, we will cover uh, Git, uh, Jenkins, and Terraform, Ansible, Docker, Kubernetes, and all projects. Right now, the real-time project classes was going on. If you are interested, if you want only real-time project, don't miss the chance. Okay, enroll for only project and join the project classes. If you want uh, mock interviews and project, there is a separate package. You can WhatsApp me and I will share you the details and what devops also i will not going to reveal uh, amount as per the youtube guidelines we should not reveal it so you can text me in uh, whatsapp okay and yeah this is pawan i have total six plus years experience as a devops engineer uh, right now i'm working in one of the top mnc company so yeah hi c can you please introduce yourself don't reveal about uh, your genuine information okay just give some X company and all. Okay. Hi, Mahesh. Can you please introduce yourself? Am I audible? Yeah. Hi, good evening. Uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. I am Mahesh. I am from Chitur. Uh, I completed my graduation in BTEC in Tripoli in the year of 2021, where I have started my uh, uh, role as a DevOps engineer in Tech Mahendra. I have around three years of experience when it comes to the uh, DevOps. Uh, I have 2.8 years of experience. My experience basi uh, basically includes with the Linux operating system and AWS and DevOps practices. When it comes to my uh, associate level, I have started associate level as a Linux, uh, working on Linux. With that knowledge, I have built some shell scripts to automate the routine task where I have got an opportunity internally to work on the cloud and DevOps platform where I have started my journey as a DevOps engineer. 
with this i have worked on some aws practices aws services uh, i can able to share those services that is ec2 s3 and rds dynamo db eks and much more services provided by aws i'm very much enthusiastic to work with aws services which is going to release in future when it comes to my devops journey i have uh, worked with uh, so many tools like uh, when it comes to the version control system i have worked with uh, git and for cicd uh, operations i have much more knowledge on uh, jenkins where our builds will run on a daily basis we have integrated so many tools to our uh, jenkins pipeline for the quality software delivery to our clients where we have integrated sonar cube and nexus sonar cube is for uh, static application security testing and uh, nexus is for artifactory when it comes to the infrastructure provisioning i have a uh, good knowledge on terraform um, where uh, we can able to build the whole infrastructure in the aws same environment by using the terraform itself and when it comes to the mon um, uh, configuration management i have good knowledge in uh, uh, ansible when coming to the deployment of application i have good knowledge on uh, docker and kubernetes docker is for containerization and uh, kubernetes for orchestration of the container yeah finally coming to the monitoring part i have good knowledge on prometheus and grafana for metrics monitoring and uh, elk for uh, mon uh, logging management yeah this is about my background as a devops engineer yeah, i'm glad to work with your team uh, if i got an opportunity to work in your uh, projects yeah this is about myself thank you super yeah i see uh, we are already talking okay the mock interview is going on so please check your or you can rejoin i think you are in mute if you are talking so yeah whoever watching this video please like this video so that we will get uh, motivation yeah hi saitej uh, can you please introduce yourself yeah hi pavan uh, good evening uh, myself i am saitej uh, i am having three years of experience as a devops engineer and i had good experience of working with various devops tools like uh, git jenkins docker kubernetes ansible and terraform I have experience of writing Jenkins files of a CI/CD automation that includes automating stuff from build to deployment. And I have experience of writing Docker files to create Docker images and doing containerization of applications uh, for the clients who are accessing it. Uh, and I do write various manifest files that are required for deploying applications in Kubernetes cluster. Uh, major part of my work is into monitoring running applications in Kubernetes and making sure that they are continuously up and running in cluster. Uh, and ensuring high availability of the applications uh, by the clients who are accessing it. This is what I have been into my experience as a DevOps engineer. Okay, so yeah, you are just uh, speaking uh, in hurry. No need to be on hurry. Okay, just uh, be cool and uh, deliver your introduction. So yeah, sure that uh, definitely it will help you. So Mahesh, uh, you are you are also perfect in the introduction part. I didn't given you the feedback, right? Yeah, it was good. So continue the same. I hope the market was not uh, not at all good. I can understand due to holidays in US, we are not getting calls. But I hope if you get a call, don't miss it. Prepare well on the technical part. Okay, and yeah, definitely. I hope you you will start your next year with a new package. Yeah, thank you. Definitely, you will you will achieve that. I can I can confidently tell because you are performing very well. Thank you. So yeah, I see. So you are on mute. No, you are on mute. You just uh, turn on your mic. You have muted your mic. 
Unset, can you please introduce yourself? Yeah, you're already. Unset, yeah, unset, go ahead. Yeah, see, let's uh, wait. Let unset complete it, then you can. Yeah, I'm Anisethi. I have total five years of experience and currently working in X company. My skill set, including extensive expertise in cloud platforms in AWS. And uh, coming to DevOps, I have good experience in Git version control. I'm well versioned in continuous integration and uh, deployment using Jenkins along with build automation through Maven. I have experience with code quality security tools like uh, sonar cube and jfrog as well as configuration management using ansible in the realm of containerization i work with uh, docker and kubernetes for orchestrating and scaling applications my proficiency in infrastructure has a code demonstrate through my use of terraform additional i'm skilled in shell scripting to automate tasks and utilize this prometheus and grafana for for monitoring and visualization. My background equips me drive efficient and reliable DevOps practices in any dynamic environment. That's it about myself. So yeah, answer to your total experience. Total experience, five years of experience. Okay, yeah, your introduction script is not matching for your pitch. I will update and I will share you in WhatsApp, okay? Because some words you cannot able to pronounce so we need to remove that i will update the script and i will share you so that according to your uh, right tone you to your pitch i need to change so i will change it oh, and i will add oh. a words in such a way it will be very easy for you to pronounce so that uh, opposite person will get impressed okay 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 even like for suppose if you are watching movies right Nowadays, uh, movies are uh, releasing in multiple uh, languages. Yes or no? Yes. So, in next week, Pushpa Toy is releasing. It is releasing in Telugu, Hindi, Tamil, Malayalam also, right? These many languages. Yes, if yes. If you see the character, the hero only know Telugu. He only speaks Telugu. But it will get dubbed in multiple languages. How? There will be some audio artist he will going to give that uh, voice over but so will it feasible that we cannot uh, as the role was important so we should use right voice over in such a way that it should match to that particular actor and uh, people should have that feel while watching so even if he speak in Telugu, even if it is converted, so it should be clear. You are getting my point right in the same way. Anisati, whatever you are delivering, it was, it was perfect. But the script which you are using, it is not matching for your tone, right? Because okay. some words you cannot be able to pronounce it. But I will change it according to you so that it will definitely help you. In the next interview, you will rock. Okay. But whatever you have delivered, it is totally perfect. Due to some mismatches, right? It is not getting a good output, but definitely you will improve. Yeah, hi, C. Can you please uh, introduce yourself? Don't reveal your uh, information genuine information yeah. you can yeah. use uh, sorry your voice is not audible hello i'm audible hello yes, yes. no no it is yeah. audible yeah can i do it later no issues no issues you can mute yourself so shall we start the mock yes okay yes i will share my screen Oh no, my browser is not responding. Give me a moment. Okay, I will directly ask you a questions. Okay. 
then after uh, I will just uh, restart my system and I will ask you to rejoin okay well, let's first complete this questioning part while uh, discussing about answers right we can I will share the screen but the session is recording no need to worry you can watch later okay so how to check the current kernel version do you know the command anyone Slash ETC can always siphon release. Mm -hmm. Sorry. ETC slash OS release. And uh, is this LSP release? You name LSP. 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 Yes, you are right. You name minus R. Hey. Okay, how to check system uptime? Anyone how to check a system uptime? System info command. No. Uptime command. Yes. Uptime. Using uptime command, you can able to check the uptime. So how to display memory usage in real time? How to display memory info? Am I audible? Hello. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, I will let's repeat. Okay, how to check the current kernel version? Anyone? Uh, you, you name, name R. Okay, how to check system uptime? Uptime command. Okay, how to display memory usage in real time? Let me go. Cat, proc, mem info. Another command? Oh. Not I am asking memory info. I am using I am asking you memory usage. VM start. No. Someone yes. said DF, but uh, it is for disk. I don't know why you are repeating. In the previous mock also you did the same. When I ask you about process, you are telling DF. I don't know why DF is favorite for you. Memory usage. Free minus M. So how to kill a process? Kill minus nine the process. How to change the host name of a Linux server? So yeah, please like this video. We will get uh, motivation, and you can see there are multiple placements was happened recently, right by my students. If you don't answer my question, I will promote myself. Host name, new host name. For permanent changes, uh, host name CTL. You should not give the uh, straightforward answer. Okay, if I am asking you. You need to give me the command. Okay, if you see one of the candidate uh, cracked in Tech Mahindra. Yes, let me know. So on 29th July this year, one of the candidate also cracked a job. And with 16 LP, 
package is 16 lp okay but he deserve more than 18 but he didn't uh, contacted me so he got uh, 16 lp if he can if he can bargain definitely you might you might get 18 plus as well okay but uh, what he did he he has enrolled for the course okay he didn't uh, paid the full amount so before completing the course like once course is completed in the ending he got a job okay he got a job with my guidance so but he still skipped the payment it's okay i i will not do anything that it's it's depend upon them yeah how to change the host name command etc okay host name host name i am asking you the command but no one is answering how to find a specific string in a file using the grep command grep command we can use grep I don't want a straightforward answers. I want a command. Grab pipe on the particular name of the string. Yes. Grab pipe. No, you are wrong. Name of the file. If you give the name of the file, what it will search? You, you just given grab. Find. What it will search? We need to give find. Using find, what you will do? Find with that particular okay. file name, uh, grep, pipe, pipe symbol, grep for the particular. Uh, Using find command, you will find a file. But I am asking you to find a string inside a file. Okay. How to list all active cron jobs? Cron, uh, cron, cron tab tab minus L. Yes. <laughs> yes you are right so how to find the size of all files in a directory yesterday you i was asked you to check the file of a folder okay there we have used du minus sh yes here the size of a file what is the command du minus in the place of s you need to use h Yes. How to find size of all files? You can Google it. Okay. How to get the public IP of a server? You have a Linux machine. You want to find the public IP address. How you will do that? IP, IP address command. So that's what I'm telling. I'm not expecting a straightforward answer. I'm expecting you a Linux command. It is not a right theoretical interview. You need to tell the command. You need to give the command in the chart at least. Host name I, minus I. So hostname minus i, it will give the public IP of the server. If config, using if config command. Yes, you are almost right. If config command, definitely it will display the IP address. But I want only public IP. How to restart a service, do you know? Anyone? How to restart a service? Pseudo system CTL. Uh, CTL restart. Restart with the service name. Yes, you are right. <coughs> How to copy a file from one location to another? TP, we need to select the file, uh, the source file and destination. Uh, 
we need to be in queue. Source file, uh, source file directory first and destination where we need to paste the oh, file. Super. How to rename a file? Uh, using MV command. Using MV command, we can be able to rename. Using MV command, you will move the file, right? You can move on as well as rename. Remove, rename also. Okay, how to move all dot log files to another directory? Not all files, but only dot log files. I want to move only dot log files. Yeah, start dot log. Command. MV, MV. MB with um, star dot log with this uh, all the files selected with uh, dot log. Super. Yes. How to create a sim link, symbolic link? Like if you see in Windows, sorry, there is a shortcut, right? Where is the shortcut? I, I don't have any shortcuts, but uh, I can have the shortcuts, right? Like Chrome browser shortcut. Yes or no? Like that, I need a shortcut in Linux. That is called as a symbolic link. So how you will create it via command line? In, uh, in minus S. Sorry? In minus S. In minuses. Yeah. I don't know. It, you have Googled it, but you don't know what to check and what to answer. Mahesh, it is a simple question, and even if you Google, you cannot able to tell what it is. Mahesh. Using LN. Yes. Anisati, you got it? Yes, the particular path, then we need to give the yeah. destination. But Anisati, you said in, right? It's LN, not in. Okay. So, how, how to compare two files line by line? So yeah, I'm feeling hungry. It's almost 9 p.m. So try to answer. Diff, diff minus w. Okay, you are right. Diff, that's it? Ah, diff minus w. That's it? Diff. Diff with the file file name which you need to compare with yes. the other file name. Like this, how Mahesh was answering and uh, explaining. Like this, you need to answer. You are telling diff diff. What wh how people will understand? In the interview also, if you okay. do like this, they will also tell go to you to your home. Okay. So how to count the number of lines in a file? So please like this Star video so that uh, we'll get motivation. Yeah, one city. It is a set, uh, I mean, a set count number. Tell me the command. I'm not as asking you to ex write Q one word answers. And uh, it is, uh, I mean, uh, it is percentage symbol and the set comment. Uh, did you understood uh, what answer is said, Mahesh or Sai stage? Yes, C D said. Just I'm thinking, I have some idea. You should not think, you need to answer. So yeah, we are investing our time during nights as well. 
so please like this video who are watching on youtube and yeah if you are looking for real time training don't forget the number is displayed ping me on whatsapp we can use word count command wc super yes wc minus l it will give the count how to delete empty files from a directory only empty files we can use rm hyphen f for uh, deleting the files but it's common rm hyphen r we can use recursively delete the file i know how to delete a file but i want to delete an empty file using rm command rm or never directly super 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 i know that i am expecting you the same thing mahesh has said okay i know but i want to delete an empty file find iphone empty iphone delete rm super you right you are right. finding the empty iphone empty means empty file yes. we are searching iphone delete we are deleting the file the rm rm command we can yes iphone iphone empty iphone iphone empty iphone iphone no. yes delete yes how to create a compressed zip file do you know in windows you will use tar uh, tar, tar we can use tar create zip file yes 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 create created zip compressed zip file we can use tar minus c p z b f yes, and yes. also that compressed file will extracting means just remove the c and keep the x tar minus x c x x z b f command we can use just we will get confused for all the people just compressing we need to keep c Uh, the z v f is remains same every time uh, yes remove the c uh, for extracting yes. add the c for compressing that's all this is a simple command yes you are right so that's what i am asked next question how to extract from in the place of c you need to x yes so how to check the file type of a specific file Shall we check the answers? Yes. So, how to check the current kernel version? U name minus R. So, kernel is the core of the operating system, managing hardware and system resources. What will kernel will do? It will manage your hardware and the resources. Resources nothing but whatever you are running. Right in this, I am using Chrome. is this a resource using file manager is this is the resource in the linux also whatever you will use right that is a resource so knowing the current kernel version is essential for compatibility check debugging issues system updates so when installing software or drivers you may need to need a specific kernel version as yes no? like for suppose now you want to install some gta game in your laptop so some gta game will be supported on windows 7 yes some gta games might not support in windows 10 or windows 11 yes or no yes is it required or not so in the same way yes. in linux also kernel plays a key role if you are installing the softwares if it is not supported in the kernel that particular version it will not work so for that reason we will use the we will check the current version of kernel getting reason behind checking the kernel version yes or no so yes. when installing software or drivers you will may need to specific kernel version so what is the use of that while installing software if it is compatible with that software or not to check that kernel version we will use uname minus r so debugging issues kernel updates might introduce a fix issues checking for the version helps in troubleshooting system updates some updates require specific kernels so it's crucial to verify the version before proceeding 
yes or no like for suppose i'm using uh, some chrome browser okay before updating the chrome browser i need to check that windows is supported or not how to check the system uptime uptime what is the use of uptime uptime command shows how long the system has been running the number of logged in users and the system load averages over the last one or five or 15 minutes this information is crucial for troubleshooting downtime helps verifying whether the server is has repeated unexpectedly performance monitoring long uptimes are often associated with stable systems but they might also indicate missed or critical updates require a reboot so load average indicates system performance and help like this you will get an output okay example output okay how many users was logged to that server right what is the load right until from how many long that server is up so up 12 days the system has been running for 12 days and 3 hours two users are logged in the system's average cpu load is 1 5 and 15 minutes value below 100 generally indicates low system usage so this is useful for real time scenarios so how to display memory usage free minus h the free command provides a snapshot of the system's memory usage including the total used and available memory adding minus h option makes you the output human readable by displaying the sizes in kb mb or gb so why it's useful quickly check if the system is running low on memory so if you see this is the output you will get so identify whether application not consuming too much memory or not so determine if additional memory is required on for the server so total amount of here total is total amount of memory available on the system used memory currently is is uh, in use free unused memory shared memory shared between process memory used for system buffers and cache memory available for new applications so how to kill a process p kill minus f the process name so the p kill command terminates process by matching their names adding the minus f option ensues the search matches the full command line of the process not just the executable name this is particularly useful when multiple process share similar names so stopping faulty process managing multiple instances automation in scripts so if you see <coughs> sorry to kill all instances of a python script named you can directly kill uh, multiple things using a script as well okay so why we will use script imagine a scenario where multiple instances of a script right are running due to misconfigured con job instead of finding each process manually using ps and killing them with kill will right using a dot script file you can kill all at a time okay from morning onwards i am continuously speaking in my client calls and all and till now i'm shouting that's the reason uh, i cannot able to speak more okay so yeah please like this video for motivation so how to change the hostname of the linux server sudo hostname ctl set hostname what are the hostname you want to give yes or no for this uh, you are struggling simple command the hostname ctl command is used to change the system hostname or on modern linux distributions this is more reliable and permanent method compared to older methods like editing slash etc hostname directly why it's useful changing the hostname helps to clearly identify a server on a network this is particularly useful in large environments with many machines yes or no in kubernetes we will be having multiple nodes or not master and node so I, to identify the master i can say change the hostname or not did we done it or not in real classes if you join the devops class you know about it for ansible master nodes for uh, jenkins master nodes for kubernetes master nodes we have done that We'll change the host name so when deploying a new server setting a unique host name is one of the first step
so you know about it i don't need to explain why we we'll use host names so host name ctl this will display the current host name okay so how to find a specific string in a file grep string and the file name right grep error the file name it will go and search for the error so if you want to search insensitive search then grep minus i search string file name so this option allows you to search without worrying about the case sensitivity like example error or error right even if it is capital letters even if it is small letter it will go and search getting my point if you use minus i if it is small error even if it is big error it will go and search getting so show line numbers grep minus n search so it will go and search for the line number of this particular string will display the line number along with the matching line which is helpful for quickly locating where the string appears in the file so grep minus r this command will search for the string in all files within the directory and subdirectories even in the subdirectory also if you want to search you can use minus r so how to list all cron job cron tab minus l the cron tab minus l commands list all the active cron jobs for the current user right cron jobs or schedule task dot run at specified lines or specified times or intervals this command is useful to review the schedule tasks and ensure they are set up as expected okay why it's useful right for troubleshooting right review cron jobs cron tab minus l it, this is the example of list so this uh, shows two schedule cron jobs backup job and cleanup job so which will runs on every day at 2 am runs every monday at 5:30 am so what is a 5 zero sunday one monday two tuesday three wednesday four what is a four zero sunday first one, one is hour first one is hours second one is uh, first one is minutes second one is hours and the third one is uh, second and first uh, and the fourth one is uh, day uh, means one last to one will be week one right yes week so one. here one what is one zero is sunday what is one Here, every monday oh, at yes. uh, every monday uh, first every one monday will be five, the minutes yeah. how was 5:30 every monday at 5:30 am the script will be going to so uh, understood right first will be minutes second will be hours third star nothing but every day meaning okay star nothing but day month week okay getting cron tab minus l command shows the cron jobs of the current user to view the cron job of other users you can use minus u username so how to find the size of all files in a directory du minus ah okay in the place of s you need to use a display all size of the files okay so if you see this is the example du minus h var slash log sort minus h so this will display all files and their sizes under var slash log in this example the command shows the sizes of the individual file as well as the directories within var slash log okay directories as well as files both how to get the public ip address of a server curl minus s if config dot me okay the curl command is used to make http request from the command line by using the url ifconfig.me this command retrieves the public ip address of the server by querying an external service curl transfer data minus s suppress the progress meter ifconfig.me a simple service that returns the public ip address of the machine making the request right curl minus s is the output so this shows the public ip address of the server in this case this is the public ip address 
So alternative service, there are other services that can also provide the public IP address like ifcon, like ipinfo.io, etc. How to restart a service? sudo systemctl restart service name. sudo executes the command in super user, systemctl, system and service manager, stops the immediate start the service. <coughs> service name, example nginx apache 2. So why it is useful? If the service is not behaving correctly, restarting it can dissolve temporary issues. So sudo system serial restart nginx. Status. If service failed to restart, you can check the logs rights. sudo general ctl minus u service name. This one we already discussed in the previous mock. How to copy a file? cp. How to rename a file? move. How to move all log dot log files? Move start dot log and destination. How to create a symbolic link? ln minus s file name and path of the link. How to compare two files? Diff file number one from file two. How to count the number of lines in a file? Right? <coughs> w count minus l. How to delete empty files from a directory? Find path type file, right? Empty and the delete. Or you can use directly rm as well. How to create a compressed uh, zip file? Zip minus r. Okay, using zip command, you can compress or you can use tar as well. Okay. Extract tar. Okay, tar file is where different zip file is different. Sorry for that. Okay, compressed to zip file nothing but you want to use zip minus r. Okay, if it is tar file, then how to check the file type of a specific file? File, file name. Okay, these are the very simple. So I have updated with explanation. Okay, some some is important. So for very some is important to you. So that's the reason I have added uh, some information about that particular command. Remaining all, uh, it is a straightforward. So I didn't added any in explanation. You know about uh, difference, uh, right? Symbolic link. I don't need to explain all this. Yeah, that's it. So I will stop the recording. So tomorrow don't expect. Okay, tomorrow I will show a server. Okay, I will log into the server and I will show practical parts. Tomorrow will be a little bit complicated. Okay, I just given you you today simple questions because yesterday was complicated. I don't want to make complicated the second as well. That's the reason I kept the simple things. Okay, next to two to three mocks is more than enough to crack any interview of Linux because almost we have covered important things. Only this one, these things only you will uh, you will get in the interview. So until now you are uh, stayed in the call, so you are super and uh, definitely God will bless you with a job. So please try. Smart, like work smartly some people will just practice it that is more not enough you need to attend mocks and you need to speak out even if you see why ATL and uh, geo are rolling the market because they know how to market themselves whoever cannot able to market themselves they will fail in the same way in the interview if they if why they need to select only you why not others you need to market yourself then they will choose you if, if you don't market yourself they will not choose you they will go over others okay yeah I'm sorry for that I'm feeling hungry today and uh, no one is there in my house I need to cook myself I need to eat okay 
I will stop the recording right away. Let's meet again in the next mock interview.